Welcome back to the Sunday Sports Frenzy. It's one of the biggest rivalries and it takes place right in our own backyard. It's the Posse versus the World of Outlaws in a three race battle and it has fans pretty excited. Logan. Logan. Doesn't matter if they're an outlaw, the Posse pulls for the PA drivers. This is like Christmas, Super Bowl. Really, really, this is our Super Bowl when they come here. Action kicks off Wednesday afternoon at the Gettysburg Clash. A driver that's starting to figure out the short tracks. The Concrete Kid sets the quick time two weeks in a row at Lincoln, but the Outlaws aren't going down easy. Red out on lap three for Chad Trout in the middle of the turn. Back to green, then five laps later, too much smoke coming from the engine for DeWeese to continue. After starting 12th, Brent marks in the lead, but heartbreak as lap car Danny Dietrich gets over the cushion right in front of the Myerstown missile. No yellow, he drops to fourth with six to go. Marks gets to second, but runs out of time as the Outlaws take night one, and Brad Sweet captures his first win at Lincoln. It's a, such a fun rivalry. Uh... You know, it just it's what drives this sport is, is you know, a rivalry like the, the Posse versus the Outlaws. It's fun to be a part of it. Next on tap, the Morgan Cup at Williams Grove. Logan Schuhart has a nasty wreck, pulls out the back of car and qualifies for the A through the B main. Doe still in search for number 100, only Posse member to win a heat, then pulls the first pill for the dash. But Carson Macedo gets by Deweese early and wins the dash. So Macedo and Deweese side by side. It's a battle between the two the entire 25 laps as the race doesn't have a single yellow. With a technical track, Macedo wins his very first outlaw race at the Grove. I just try to manage it and, and you know keep making clean, nice laps. You know, there at the end, I feel like I, I got a little sloppy. I didn't really know what to do. I, I started backpedaling more to keep my wheels underneath me. Two all-star rookies getting their first career wins this weekend. Tyler Courtney wins I-96, while the next night at Route 66, Kyle Reinhardt holds off sunshine for an emotional first and biggest career win for the 91R. Pretty awesome. You know, we've been struggling a little bit the last uh, couple months since, uh, since Florida, so... Uh, it feels really good to just have some speed back. Lucas Wolf and Mark Holdren have parted ways. Wolf says he will race his 5W locally with some bigger races and some 360s in the mix. It was an unexpected family reunion and so far results in a lot of success at the track. Things have just been clicking really ever since. So um, now the hardest part is just to keep it up. Only takes one race to get acclimated right back into a very familiar seat. After parting ways with CJB Motorsports, Brent Marks hops right back into his family car. And by the results, you wouldn't believe he hasn't been in the 19M since 2019. Fortunately, I've been doing this long enough that I can just kind of sit down and clear my mind and just go back to things that were working for me in the past, and really that's all I did. And simply lands himself in victory lane, his second race out. The weather limits races, but in just nine races back, Marks has won three of them, and honestly could have been five with two close second place finishes. My main goal right now is to just be as competitive as we can every, every race, and um, if we're doing that, then the wins are going to come. His final race in the 19M was winning the National Open at Williams Grove, picking up right where they left off as the team runs like true outlaws wherever the biggest shows are.